Turns out, you guys, that um, what's her name? What's this woman's? Jen Psaki said the White House secretary, you can't answer any questions. That the Treasury secretary was paid to speak in Wall Street, including a hedge fund involved in the GameStop fiasco. And it shouldn't be a surprise, she says. Now, what does that say about where we are right now? How long has it taken a week for Biden to put in all these executive orders that are terrible? for places starting to open up from lockdowns, LA, Chicago, New York, DC, all of a sudden it's all safe. How long has that taken? And even if your politics on that are different from mine, that's fine. All it, it, The argument's been, oh, Trump's kicked off of Twitter, make your own Twitter. Oh, you've, your, uh, your alternate Twitter power's been kicked off, get your own servers. It's We're less than a week removed from let's now you have to make your own stock market you can't buy and sell stocks the way you want them to if if the government or the stock exchange decides that they don't like what a bunch of people are doing if they don't like what they're buying then they can put a stop to it and it's for your protection just like the lockdowns are for your protection uh so now what's the answer to that dave portnoy of barstool sports is gonna have to make his own stock trading company uh, Robin Hood just decides, this company just decides that they can tell you, oh, which stocks that you can buy now. So not only, we, we've got gotten to this point where you can't have your own choices on social media, you can't have your own choices on a video platform, you can't say what you want on web hosting services. Now you can't even freely operate within the market. And now there's even communists, AOC, agreeing with Donald Trump Jr., and Ted Cruz on what should be done, which is at the very least a hearing for all these people. And this is how far we've come, and it's only taken a week. Anybody who is still silent about this, I have to call a coward. Anyone who's involved with politics and, and won't give an opinion on this, I have to call a coward. If you want to sit on the sidelines and you're not a political person, you're a musician, or you're a graphics artist, and you don't want to talk about this, and you don't care, that's fine. You don't have to be involved. But if you're a person who claims to be involved in politics or is in politics in elected office and you don't have an opinion on this, you're afraid to do an interview it on this, you're afraid to speak publicly on it. Because trust me, the stuff on Instagram stories are there. The things in DMs that I've seen are there. The things on, uh, on phone calls and text messages I've had with a few politicians who are against lockdowns or what have you is the topic of the day. Those people are there. Are they willing to speak in public? No. Are they willing to make public statements? No. It's too hard. It's too difficult. Someone's going to someone's going to say something mean about me. Somebody on Twitter is going to try to cancel me. I'd hate to use the phrase time's up because it's been used for other stuff before. <laughs> but the time is up. Now is the time where you have to start saying things because we're at a point where you can't even purchase things in support of a company as much of a meme as you want to call it without a large corporation who's supposed to be providing free trade. Robin Hood's catchphrase is let the people trade. Apparently it's not. Apparently we need our own stock trading. We need our own phones. We need our own web servers. We need our own Twitter. What is next? You can't drive a car if you're a Trump supporter. Or how about you can't eat at this restaurant if you're a Biden supporter? Enough is enough. And I have to, you're cowards now if you're a person in politics and you're not able to stand up to this. End scene. <laughs> Agree. Now